Welcome to example program. In this video, we will see how we can write a Python program to display the numbers in this X shape. So here you guys can see the number will appear in such a way that it will look like a X. So here in this video, I'm going to show you guys how we can write this program to display the numbers in this X shape. And uh, in the next video, I'm going to use the same logic and I'm going to show you guys how you can construct the program to display the string values in this X shape. So here, let's begin with this program. Now, the first thing that I'm going to do here is I'm going to divide this pattern in terms of rows and columns. Then this is the first row, second row, third row, fourth row and fifth row. And similarly, this is the first column second column, third column, fourth column and fifth column. Now the one thing that we can notice in here is in this pattern the number of rows is equal to number of columns. Okay and after that if you look at this pattern then if we have the odd number of rows and odd number of columns then the pattern will look complete. That's because when we have the odd number of rows and odd number of columns in the center we can have a number you know which will make this pattern complete so whenever we are going to print this pattern we will print it for the odd number of rows here we are starting the count from one if we want we can start the count from zero also for example this will be the zeroth row first row second row third row and fourth row similarly zeroth column first column second column, third column and fourth column. Here we are just starting the count from zero. Now the next thing that we have to figure out is where we have to display uh, the numbers or for a particular row in which columns we have to display the numbers. And here if you look at this then for every row we are printing the row number in that uh, particular row in whatever the columns that we have to print. For example, if we look at this zeroth row, then we are displaying zero, that is the row number, which is zero in the um, columns zero and four. And similarly, if you look at the third row, then the row number is three and that is been displayed in the column one and three. So the number which will be displayed in this pattern is the row number. And the next thing that we have to figure out is in which columns for a particular row we have to display the uh, row number. If you look at this closely, then we can say that whenever the row number is equal to column number, we are displaying the um, number or the symbol in this pattern. That is, if you look at this zeroth row, then we are displaying this row number zero when we have this column number same as the row number. So one condition is whenever the column number is equal to row number, we will be displaying the row number in this pattern. So this is the one condition. For example, if you look at the fourth uh, row in here, then the row number is four. And when this column number is four, we are displaying the number. So the one condition where we have to display the number or the symbol in this pattern is whenever the column number is equal to row number. So the next condition, if you look at this, then here in this pattern right now, there are total number of five columns and five rows. So uh, number of columns is equal to number of rows and it is equal to five. So here, if you look at this, then whenever we perform row number, I'm going to write on the row in here plus column number. If we get the value, which is equal to total number of rows minus one or total number of columns minus one, then we are displaying the number. So here, um, if you look at the zero row, then when we perform row number plus column number, for example, for this position, row number is zero, column number is four. So which will be equal to total number of rows minus one. So it here we have five rows, which will be five minus one. So whenever we get this equation proper, you know, we have to display this 
uh, symbol or the number in this position so there are two conditions that we have to check one is whenever we have the row number is equal to column number we have to display the number or the symbol in this uh, pattern and whenever we perform row number plus column number and if we get the total is equal to total number of rows or total number of columns minus one that's because total number of rows equal to total number of columns so at that time also we have to display this number so now let us see how we can write the program for this one so now the first thing that i'm gonna do is i'm gonna ask the user for how many rows uh, he wants this pattern or the total number of rows that will be present in this pattern so here I'm going to use the input function and I'm going to say enter the total number of rows and this input function will return it in string form and we will convert that to integer form that is the number of rows which will be entered by the user and we will store that in a variable and I'm going to call it as pattern length so this pattern length variable will contain the total number of rows and the total number of columns for which we are displaying this pattern now the next thing that we have to do is we have to construct whatever the value present in this pattern length variable that many number of rows and that many number of columns and we have to check for the couple of conditions that we have seen and we have to display the numbers wherever we have to display them so first we will use a for loop and this for loop is for the rows I'm going to say row in a range of values and the range value it will run up to pattern length minus one whenever we use the range function and we write um, let's say 10 here you know this range function will provide the values from 0 to 9 so here the count will start from 0 okay this is for the rows okay now here this row variable will get the row number uh, if you want i can display that in here so i'm going to use the print function and uh, i'm going to display the value present in the row variable if i save this program and run the code enter the number of rows i'm going to enter five it will display the row numbers and the count is starting from zero here so zero one two three four so there are a total number of five rows okay now here we have the uh, number of rows and similarly we need the columns for every row so we will use another for loop and it will be uh, in a for loop and this for loop will provide us the column so we will say column in a range of values and we know that the number of rows present in this pattern is equal to the number of uh, columns so that value will be uh, in a range of values from uh, 0 to pattern length minus 1 and here this uh, range function will start from 0 and it will run up to pattern length minus 1 okay now we have uh, a pattern length number of rows and that many columns uh, what we can do is we can print whatever that we want for every columns for example I can use the print function in here and I can print let's say star and here after printing the star we will end it with a space for example like this to make it pretty okay now here after printing the columns for every row we want to print the next row in the next line and that's why we will insert a new line so I'm gonna use just a print statement in here and if I save this program run the code enter the number of rows if I enter 5 you guys can see we have five rows and five columns and here in all these positions we are displaying the star but here we have to display the row number so i'm going to display the row number in here i'm going to use a placeholder and uh, i'm going to use the format function and we will provide the uh, row variables value which will contain the row number and uh, we have seen before that in this pattern we are displaying the row number so now if i save this program and run the code if i enter 5 in here now you guys can see the row number is printed in all the columns for every row now 
we want to display this row number only in specific columns for a particular row and that condition that we have to write now so here i'm gonna write that condition and we know that the condition is if the row number which will be present in this row variable if it is equal to column number then we want to display the uh, row number in that particular column and also whenever we perform row number plus column number if we get the result which is equal to total number of uh, rows present in this pattern minus one then we want to display the um, row number in that particular column so these two conditions that we have to check in here and we have to uh, execute the code if this condition is true then what we want to do is we want to display the row number if this is not true then what we want to do is we just want to display a blank space so we will display a blank space and then we will insert a space to end it okay so if these two conditions satisfy any one of these conditions satisfy then we will display the row number for that particular column for that particular row else we will display a blank space and then we will uh, uh, end it with a blank space so i'm going to save this program and i'm going to run this code and this time i'm going to enter five rows and now you guys can see we have this pattern displayed where uh, the row number is displayed in this x shape similarly here if we want we can display the column numbers so i can change this one to column and if i save the program and run the code it will display the column number uh, in the specific columns in this pattern in the next video i'm going to show you guys how you can display the string values and how you can display the other numbers using the same code so in the next video we will be using the same logic same code we will modify it and we will display the uh, string values and other numbers in this x shape so this is it guys for this video thank you for watching i'll see you later in the next video